Okay, so here we are on the fucking Citadel, and there's a couple of things we need to do before we go and talk to the bitch ass council. Let's go grab you real quick. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? No way. Yeah, we may as well. She's a war asset, so yeah, why not? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, so. War asset. Always handy to have. Okay, so uh, we were going to head to the hospital. Welcome. Check on Ashley. But there's other reasons why we would go there. I mean, sure, Ashley's one thing, but... Where are you? Over there. Okay. Let's check the shot real quick. Med gel capacity. Uh, you can buy Ashley flowers. And all of this crap, I guess. Not going to, because I'm a stingy motherfucker. And I'm going to save that cash. So it's Dr. Michelle and Chuckle. You know Chuckle was. Michelle was in the the first game. She helped us uh is it take down Fist? And she helped Tally as well. Yeah. So she's cool. And Chuckwas. Yeah yeah. Shepherd, there you are. Dr. Chuckwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R and D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Hmm. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Okay, so you can leave her on the, the Citadel as a war asset, or you can take her with you. Why would you leave her behind? She's been there like in every game so far. Hell yeah, we're gonna take it. Your place is in Normandy's med bay. Damn right. Some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Okay, cool. So we got Chuckles. Yeah, you can leave her on the Citadel. She can become a war asset, but it's Doctor Chuckles, man. She belongs on the Normandy and shit. Um, I don't think there's bugger on here uh, to collect in here yet. Touch and go. So let's go see what's up. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. Your eyes were open, then you see that? To check in on you. See how you're doing. Um, I've got other things to think about, really. But yeah, I'll think about you. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything. Let me know. 
Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. All right, let's go fucking talk to this fucking council. Ugh. They're not going to help. I knew... Before I ever even came here, I knew they wouldn't fucking help. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Bollocks. Um, embassies. Yeah. Yeah, slightly different from the last time we were here, but it always is, you know, it's always different. Okay, so there's a Bailey's office there, Commander Bailey, he, uh, where is it? so that's where we got to go, Udina's office, but first, haha, -ha. recognize, yeah. Okay, so we have requisitions and terminal. Let's check the terminal. Welcome. Hmm, so much going on with the quarians. Close to the Perseus Vale. Hmm. So yeah, you can buy things from here. Oh, look at that Black Widow one. Hell yeah, we're gonna buy that shit. Fires three shots, and it's, it does so much damage. Really good. There's a firing range over there. If you want to uh, try out some weapons and shit. But, so we got things to do. We ain't got time for fucking skiving and shit. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Oh, look, they're all cunts. Surprise, surprise. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Dickhead. If we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint. Created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? You have a better plan? No, you don't. But yes, I do. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Adina's right. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Oh, surprise, surprise! Look who's the being a cunt! The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. 
which is far cool. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Bedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <clears throat> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. The, that's why you pick Udina to join the council. He fits in so well with the rest of the cunts on this place. Oh god, let's get the fuck off it. Let's go. Jesus. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh god. No! Yeah, it's quite a lot of codex entries. James! I don't care what you have to say. Okay. Let's get the fuck off of this piece of shit. Now arriving at Docking Bay D twenty four. Okay, so that's that's pretty much all we can do on the Citadel for now. Um Yeah, we're gonna have to follow the the main story before we can laugh anymore. Yes.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive <laughs> your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. Well, they would be. They're a bunch of cunts. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. 
Pack it out. Okay, so we got a plan. We got a ship. Let's fucking do this. Here's our war time. Uh, war assets and shit. At the moment, we've only got the alliance. Couple of fleets. Diana Allers. And the Normandy. And some resources. Readiness rating. You d that changes with multiplayer. It's actually dropped one percent in the last like half an hour. So yeah, drop one percent. Damn. Anyway, I play a lot of multiplayer, so I should be back to a hundred in no time. Okay, so let's uh, let's go talk to Joker. Let's see what's up. Yo, dude. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Yeah. There'll be a lot, uh, a lot better dialogue coming up with Joker. And you actually get people that move around the ship now. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, we got an N7 mission. Nice. Okay, let's check our terminal. Reinstatement. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go check out the rest of the ship. So, we've seen our cabin. Uh, let's go to the crew deck. Got our Cadence up there. Yeah, Jenkins is up there. Oh. Um, right, so. Same setup as the uh, as it was in Mass Effect 2. A couple of changes. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It had better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Okay, cool. We are the picture of health. So let's head over here and talk to Liara. In Miranda's old office. Shit. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. 
Oh, thanks, dude. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. It's been years since we were together. Are you still interested in... us? I didn't forget you, Liara. I want to make us work. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Hey, yeah, so later. So, you got a uh, terminal here you can this look at? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Mm -hmm. Uh, everyone knows she's the broker anyway. Okay, so any upgrades you find, you can come here and you can. What have we got? So an ammo, a capacity bonus, or a shield bonus. Hmm. You are going to get shot a lot, so I'm going to go with shields. Hey, cool. Please enjoy your day. Oh, thanks, dude. And uh, I think that's about it, really. Let's just quickly head down to there's bugger all in engineering. So let's get to the shuttle bait. Uh, there are a couple of things we can do here. We can upgrade our weapons for a start. So improve damage, capacity, and weight. So yep. Wanna knock those out? Hell yeah. Um So we're going to be using a snipe and a pistol. So let's so let's max out the pistol for now. Key. Um. Okay. So let's see what else we got. The more sh uh, once we further on we get in the campaign, the more uh, shops we can uh, buy shit from. Pistol magazine, pistol stunner, pistol piercing mod, yes. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Sniper rifle, spare clip, yep, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, assault rifle magazine upgrade, yeah. We'll need that in the future. We'll take the magazine upgrade too. Um. Cool, that's fine. Inspector requisitions is just where we were earlier. Okay, so let's head over to the workbench and let's sort our shit out. So, uh, whoops. One our Black Widow and concentration mod. So it can slow down time slightly so you can get the perfect shot off. It's dead handy. Uh, damage or ammo? Damage or ammo? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for ammo. Let's go for damage. Okay, pistol. Only got two, so yep. Take them. Boom. And that's us. Okay, so boom, we've got a, a Primark to go save on a moon. 
And uh, yeah, okay, cool. Do that next time. It's all this shit popping up. It's gonna do that for all of them. Any more? I think there's three more, is there? Ammo. Magazine upgrade. One more. Yeah, done. Alright. Do this next time.